I don't think we have seen it all. This old man, just to celebrate his 17th birthday, decided to release the list of over 120 girls, specifically Nigerian girls, he has slept with over the years. 70 years old man. Definitely where he's going is way more closer than where he's coming from. What I mean by that is his grave is way more closer than ever. 17 years old man who should be planning on how to get closer to his family. His only wish was to release a list of women, Nigerian women, that he has slept with over the years. Over 120 women. And guess what? He also separated the list. He wrote here, said, These ones here are good 69. Doggy and cowgirl style. Then he released another badge. Of course, you can see a lot of names there. For me, I can see uh, Diola, Ayomide, Damilola. I hope it's not the Damilola that I know of. Oh. <laughs> Fuulayo, Infulua, Ah, Waladeo. I hope I, these are not people that I know well. Then I can see uh, Omolara. Runke, Temi Tokbe, Ti, Tilola. Why are all those people your boss now? Are they not Igbo girls? Are they not Igbo girls here? Yeah. And guess what? This man is well known. He's uh, Amara Umunsu's husband. For those of you who know Amara Umunsu, so that's, his, that's her ex husband. Well, let me still call some, some of the list here. And I hope these are not people that I hope these are not people that I know because I'm seeing a lot of names here. I'm seeing uh Adenike, I'm seeing Inkechi, okay, the Aibos, I'm seeing Inkim, Inkim, Uche, Chinwe, Ada, Ungozi, Mariam, Zenab. Ha. Everything a mixture. Asha Fatima. That's the year. Ugozi Eze. Mm. Then I'm saying a Daisy. Okoye. Ah. Wala deo. Then yeah, I'm also saying a uh, Uju. Eberi. Uh -uh. Eberi, your name is here. Yeah, I know Eberi. I hope it's not your Eberi that I know of. Eberi, your name is here. Yeah. According to what you wrote, he said, the list batch two, Facebook has no way for me to upload names next to pictures. So by my upcoming book next year, where the publisher table, the list will, that's where the publisher's table, the list with names and photo better. Okay, he said he's going to release. For those of you who are still doubting him, maybe he's catching crows. He's going to release the list, the list and the names, the list and the photos of the girls. Man, if you try and brother, you go collect a lot of lawsuits. Nobody give you the goddamn right. I'm seeing Zaria Ali, Fatima, Asha Abidi with their son name. Uh -uh, Semira Yusuf, Rama Abidi, Amina Ali, what the hell? Nandia Omar, Mana Husseini, Ruki Abidi. <laughs> this man, 70 years old man. <laughs> 70 years old Mumu. What the hell is wrong? <laughs> 70 years old man who's supposed to be uh, trying to get closer to God, trying to get closer because where he's going to is way more closer than where he's coming from. But my guy, you now to the count the number of Punani made on over the years. Oh God. 
if God want to truly doom someone, eh, you know, get the amount of repent, you know, get the amount of sign. 70 years old man, and the only thing on your mind is to count the amount of money that you have cancelled over the years. What a way of how you have left, you have lived your life. This guy is crazy. Let's talk about a popular influencer based in London. Her name is Jenny. She said no way on heart that she's willing to put her body through bed. The only way she's going to allow herself to give bed is if someone is willing to pay her £250,000 monthly. Jenny said she will need an allowance per year to cover the cost of activities for herself and her baby. I will need a 250k annual allowance for therapy season, a PT, all of the things you will need to live is investing in our life and future. I don't know how women do cooking, cleaning and working as a mom. I commend that bet is not going to be me. Well, and uh, a statement have actually caused a lot of controversies online. You know, people are reacting to it negatively and positively. Let Jenny be. Jenny wants someone who will pay her 250k pounds per month for upkeep if that person ever wants her to carry his child. So good and fine. I hope she gets that person in this world. I hope. She get that person on heart. And there are many, 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 many men, billionaires who are willing to pay such. But if she is lucky enough, if she's lucky enough, she might get. But I'm very, very sure the possibility is really, really slim. So Jen Jenny, carry on. It's our dream. It's what she wants. So I hope her dream comes true that she gives bed and her hobby pays her £250,000 just to bear a child. There's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with a lady wanting more. Nothing absolutely wrong with a lady dreaming, dreaming about fantasy that might not be possible. You know, what's the essence of dreams? To fantasize now. So let her fantasize. In our own dream, because uh, that is a strong wow. But most of those celebrities are kind of like enjoying such lifestyle now. Yeah, I know a lot of celebrities who have kids and uh, they get paid like one million five hundred k dollars and a little less and way lesser or even more from rich men rich entertainers or whatsoever just to bear their kids like Janet Jackson was able to walk away with 100 million US dollars from a Saudi Arabia husband just to have a one child you see <laughs> it's crazy now that's just how it is guys huh so there are men like that who are willing to pay so I hope she gets to mm -hmm. don't say it's a really large dream it's not it's not possible. It's possible. She can actually get that person. It's possible. Just like this next story that we are about to look. A very well-known young lady, former Miss Universe 2023. No, current Miss Universe 2023, Michelle Ihenzu. Michelle Ihenzu recently married a wealthy man. A wealthy man. And guess what? They have been blasting her, calling her names, saying this and that and that and this and that. <laughs> ah, crazy guys. But uh, the lady is currently enjoying her honeymoon because she received a Range Rover spot. A Range Rover spot as a wedding gift. Range Rover spot as a wedding gift. 
and she is 27 apparently and the man is over close to over 60 years old then what is i see not i honestly i see absolutely nothing wrong the man is doing absolutely nothing wrong and the lady of course is doing absolutely nothing wrong do you know how hard this world economy is most especially in nigeria do you know how hard it is do you know how hard it is to make money even if you say oh he, she married the man because of money and so what the man is able to influence her with money some of you will want a guy a young guy who is handsome who is well to do who is rich and everything come on man do you know it's extremely hard in Nigeria and for a young guy to go to school, get something doing, make it in life, he's already approaching 40, 40 something. <laughs> so please do not blame the lady. Do not blame her. If, it's, if she's my sister, I will support her honestly. I will even be the one to say, man, go on, the man has grown up kids and so what? And so what? For example, Regina Dinet, she's currently enjoying her marriage, getting all the, uh, showing off her flamboyant lifestyle and everything. Come on, man, the Nigerian economy is hard. Everybody wants soft landing. So don't blame her. She's, do she's not doing non anything wrong. She's above the age. And she's doing her dreams. So just like that other lady who says she needs somebody to pay her 250k pounds to carry a child, she's not saying anything wrong. It's her dream. Hmm? 